Welcome back to Third Phase Moon. Blake Cousins, we got a special report for you today. Incredible photographs have just come in and we're gonna be sharing them with you in regards to possible craft harnessing the energy from the sun and an incredible display that you're looking at right now, including breaking news in regards to the 180 day countdown uh, for Congress. Uh, they're pretty much on the tails of our documentary coming out February 16th, 2021. But why is the Congress talking about this 180 day countdown? But before we get to all that stuff, buckle up, everybody. We're looking at these pictures right now, and they are astonishing. Uh, what are the implications of exactly what we're looking at are as insane. And these images that have come into third phase of moon um, are shocking, just to say the least. I'm sure you guys are impressed with what you're looking at right now. Let me just pull up the information on who and when and where. An astrophotographer captures images of a mysterious light. According to the eyewitness, he said he witnessed an unforgettable flash while he was taking pictures of the Milky Way and suddenly a ship appears. He says with a unique light and incomparable with any other flying object and he said it was rising from the horizon very slowly and he said he got lost to the west. This was captured in Red Moon Valley in the General Rock area in Argentina. So we're looking at these incredible images and what's very, very amazing. If you look closely in one of the photographs, it seems to me that on the lower right hand uh, corner of the image, you see this obelisk. I'm not exactly sure if this is a monolith or obelisk, but it is very uh, strange indeed. Besides this incredible image that we're looking at even closer, we could almost make out some detail. Are you seeing this, Brent? Absolutely. Even pulling up on that one particular photo, you even get a better look at it. Right above the light, it seems like there's even a cabin above it. You can almost see structure, like it's a craft, not just a, a light in particular. Could there actually be some sort of craft right there producing this kind of light? It looks elongated, almost tic-tac in, in its own right, but it has this mysterious light that kind of brings off this luminosity even in the sky it kind of lights up everything around it which is creates this rather beautiful look to it i really like this photo blake yeah, some people might say that this is photoshop but i i don't see any deception we're looking at these very closely uh, in my opinion these photographs are legit but according to the astro uh, photographer he's actually stated that he saw this thing rising so i don't think it's any kind of um you know, illusion or a reflection coming from uh, the lens to the camera. And I'm also having to rule out that this is any kind of like maybe speed or uh, time speed capture or time lapse capture that this is creating this illusion as well. This is, uh, seems to me as the eyewitness says is that there is a structure, a craft, and it's very bizarre too. We're not seeing any indications of any like FAA lights too. We almost see this black craft over the beam of light. This is very bizarre. But I want to get your thoughts on this uh, monolith uh, in close proximity. Do you think uh, there's a correlation? Because these monoliths have been now popping up all over the place. It's very uh, strange that they're all over the planet. But in this uh, particular photograph, we have a UFO and the monolith in the same region. Uh, are you aware of any monoliths that popped up in Argentina recently, Brent? No, I haven't heard anything of the sort. But like you said, they're popping up everywhere. I think a lot of these monolith sightings that was first seen in Utah. So what we're looking at here is, again, what are the odds? He's capturing a UFO and it's a great shot. You can see directly at the bottom, uh, nice standing tall monolith and it's clear as day could these spacecraft actually be dropping these off that if that's it could this be clear evidence of a ufo dropping off the monolith stunning photos to say the least uh we're happy to share it with you now let's get to this in, uh, incredible other series of photographs that was uh submitted to us on our facebook of what looks to be a giant unknown object that was captured in the vicinity of the sun and it was captured just yesterday he said it was clear uh, it was resembling a boomerang type triangular shape and its size could be similar to earth this is coming in from gregory and he says he's from watching the sun out of mexico and he did a good job really trying to capture the sun and he was just lucky enough to capture uh, what looks to be like other triangular craft that we see on earth these uh, hybrid 
Black Op uh, projects, these triangular shaped craft, the Tier 3B, whatever you call it, uh, people are seeing them here on Earth. And we've seen them ourselves right here in Hawaii. But what's amazing is now we're getting it in close proximity uh, to the sun. And that's what Gregory captured. And uh, I don't know, Brent, what do you, what do you make of this? Uh, I got to say, this is a pretty astonishing evidence. If you could see a planet sized triangular shaped craft uh, in such close proximity to the sun, how is it not just burning up? That's the technology we're after. If we could figure that out, I think we'd be traveling the stars like the rest of these guys. But yeah, this is an incredible footage right here. And Gregory, he, he's catching shots of the sun like Soho does. NASA and these high-end cameras. And man, he, he's pulling off the same capabilities. So that's awesome. These amateur uh, observers that are actually capturing these anomalies next to the sun really proves and leads into the information that what we're seeing here, these anomalies are in fact true, that what we're seeing are intergalactic spaceships possibly using the sun for energy or some sort, or maybe just hiding there so we can't even see them because we're blinded by the light of the sun. It could be their disguise. Shielded by the light, absolutely. And what a good place to hide uh, and what a great source of energy you're exactly right brett now let's get into this story that's been coming out from the new york times from the new york post and apparently there's a new countdown to disclosure president trump signed the 2.3 trillion dollar relief bill today and it started a 180 day countdown for the pentagon and spy agencies to see what they know about ufos this made little news. Actually, really nobody knew what was going on because it's very minute. In a 6,000 page legislation attached to the Annual Intelligence Authorization Act, which was rolled out in this massive bill. But the Senate's Intelligence Committee, chaired by Senator Marco Rubio, said in a comment it directs the director in a consultation with the secret of defense and the heads of such other agencies to submit a report within 180 days of the date of the act to the congressional intelligence and armed services committees on an unidentified aerial phenomenon the report must be addressed observed airborne objects that have not been identified and should include a detailed analysis of unidentified phenomenon data collected by a geospatial intelligence agency. Signals, intelligence, human intelligence, measurements, and signals intelligence, they want it all. They want to find out exactly on what makes this unidentified craft that they're experiencing fly. The report must also contain detailed analysis of a data of the FBI. The report must contain a detailed analysis of data of the FBI, which derived from investigations of intrusions of unidentified aerial phenomenon, data over restricted United States aerospace, and an assessment of whether this unidentified aerial phenomenon activity may be attributed to one or more foreign adversaries. So right now, the 180 days is on. We got six months before they are required to give us any kind of information in regards to the UFO phenomenon. Is this task, this uh, bill that's been signed, uh, going to bring disclosure? Well, everybody's going to have to wait for six more months. But before we get to the six months to find out what exactly happens, let me tell you, Countdown to Disclosure is going to be available on February 16th, 2021. Take a look at this trailer that we just put up a few days ago. I think it's terrifying. I mean, this seems potentially like one of the biggest stories of my lifetime. And I don't care if it's about UFOs or whatever you call it. Something that we don't understand is getting very close to our military aircraft. The technologies related to energy generation should come out first. This hybrid aerospace underwater craft is able to basically generate an electromagnetic field. It is uh, President Trump's belief that the United States must remain as dominant in space as we are on land and sea and the air. And your charge is to see to that mission with the United States Space Force. I mean, there were three people on my team assassinated, and I was almost killed. 
with a lot of people that would like to know what's going on. It's a matter of national security. But apparently, just recovered are off-world vehicles not made on this earth. The president will respond to the subject the way they want them to. There's a black box with all the technologies that would give us a civilization that's sustainable, peaceful, etc., and it's been around for decades. Everybody's asking the biggest question in the world. Are we alone? Look, it's holding, it's that just stalled out there. The narrative that's being launched, which is a false narrative, is that we're not alone and that those civilizations are a threat. The problem is, is that the public has to be informed and involved. Uh, it could be a brief statement saying, hallelujah, I'm, you know, I'm finally vindicated. I don't, I, I'm not completely convinced they're gonna let this stay like it is. But the people who are surrounding that level of, of our politicians and government are not told like the movie Independence Day, where we'll say, let's go kick alien butt. So isn't it amazing that we have this new report that just came out by the New York Post. They posted it today. And just a couple days ago, we released the trailer to Countdown to Disclosure. And now they headline their New York Post headline in regards to uh, this act, 180 day countdown for UFO disclosures. That's their title. Wow. They, they seem to be following third phase of moon and uh, this documentary in regards to countdown to disclosure uh, coming out on all streaming services here very soon is, is going to answer a lot of questions. Brent. Yeah, it looks like a uh, New York post is going to be maybe about 60 days late on the story because we're going to break it down first in countdown to disclosure. And yeah, there, there goes the New York times. Uh, mimicking a uh, third phase of moon and uh, that's what they do but again the New York Post does it again um, yeah what's really going down with this story it's interesting that Rubio's taking the lead on this and they try to hide this under like close to 6,000 things that they're going to put into this act and it was kind of like un really low on the radar I'm glad we're picking up on this story just to let the word out that Rubio's actually leading kind of the spearhead in in the congress to get some disclosure even soft disclosure i know maybe we should just hook up with rubio right away and uh, see what kind of contact we could get with him because i think we'd be a good team getting this forefront out especially with what's happening with their documentary coming out in less than a month and a half from now blake that's right. Uh, the UFO task force, uh, I guess they're going to have to be uh, answering some questions in 180 days. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of questions answered in just a month and a half in regards to countdown to disclosure, the secret technology behind the Space Force. It's going to be, again, available on all, all streaming services. So we're happy uh, to share this with you. And it's going to be an insane ride. We got a lot of people involved with this. And there's a lot of information, again, that's going to be talked about in regards to what uh, the Congress is talking about. And I guess it's 180 days from now. So we'll be uh, doing a follow up on this. So a lot of people have been asking, what's going on over there at Third Phase Moon on the big island of Hawaii with the most active volcano on the planet? Are you guys safe over there? Are you in any danger of uh, the lava, the explosion? Well, right now, I want to let everybody know, right, we're pretty safe. There, there's no danger where we're at, in my opinion. The only thing that we're dealing with is sometimes bad air quality because of the volcanic fog that's being released from the summit of Holly Mau Mau in Kilauea. So we're going to find out whether this crater is going to do what it did two years ago. And right now we're looking at incredible aerial footage coming in from the USGS. And what we're looking at was just captured earlier today. And we can see that the lake within the caldera has fluctuations in its height. It sometimes rises and then it deflates and then rises again. It really can't make up its mind. But the big question is, is this thing going to keep going? As you could imagine, like leaving the water on in your tub and having it overflow with water. Is this a possibility? And nobody's rolling this out yet. It, yes, it is. It definitely is a possibility that it can overflow or otherwise possibly rupture and create these rift zones like we experienced two years ago when it broke out all over Leilani Estates. You guys all saw us over there. And if it happens again, trust us, we will get some good lava footage. But right now, it seems pretty stable over the, the crater there in, at the summit at Kilauea. Brent, what's your thoughts on this? 
Yeah, it's pretty interesting. The inflammation and the way it just drops too at the same time, it seems to create some sort of pattern that's happening right now, but that could change in an instant. These photos and videos that we're looking at from the USGS are pretty much the best things we could do to look at what's happening right now on the planet. These are the best angles. So for anybody to go directly into this area is pretty much uh, hazardous to your life. The winds could change and it could take a high dosage of this VOG and it could kill you pretty much instantaneously. So it's a it's a hazardous area. And what we're looking at is uh, Mother Nature at work. Look at the lava and the cracks in in the lake bed, the lava bed. It it seems to like fracture like glass. And get get this. There's this interesting phenomenon happening. There's actually an island on top of the lava caldera you can see the island it's cool you could actually almost pitch a tent on that thing and probably survive for a little bit in the middle of a lake lava lake blake it's, it's absolutely outstanding what's also outstanding is the ufo activity that's been popping up in the area in uh, kilauea in that side of the region of the big island people are experiencing strange lights multiple uh strange lights in the sky just hovering over there and then they seem to come and go and people are scratching their heads and some people are actually getting them on video and we're working on that we're wanting to bring it to you and possibly we might go out to the volcano itself at the summit and see if we could do a ufo hunt while the activity of the lava is happening below because we all know that it seems to me volcanoes equals ufos so we appreciate everybody uh, joining us and asking how we're doing over here on the big island and we wanted to let everybody know yep we're in we're in good shape over here and it's good that that's the way it's going to be in my opinion but as far as people in the area and how long this summit will hold the lava in the caldera now that's the big question things could get a little, a little hazardous again yeah, just like two years ago, we have a much more mass of lava in the caldera right now. So we're looking at if this thing plunges out at any point, we'll, we'll experience a massive earthquake. Two years ago, there's uh, something, I think it was 6.9. We actually captured it on video and it was amazing stuff. And if this happens again, I expect to feel a tremor, an earthquake, I would say that exceeds a 6.9 and maybe even go up to the seven O's or who knows, maybe even the 8.0. So we got to buckle up down here. We want to thank everybody for joining us around the world and everybody on the live chat and the super chats. You guys are really great and appreciate the support right here at Third Phase Moon. It goes a long way. We wanted to let everybody know we got some new videos up on our sister channel called Third Phase UFO Report. Go take a look at that. And let me tell you, there's some good things coming up right here at Third Phase of Moon. Keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. Be safe out there. Blake Cousins. We'll see you next time.